everyone. Happy Thursday. Let's get into our uh, assignment here. Uh, so we've been talking about metric system and our different ways that we can measure things. So we started with mass, and then we talked about length. Today we're talking about volume. Um, so you have your attendance, your agenda. Yes, I've watched it. On to the next page. And then we have a video on how to measure volume. There's also a written explanation. Also, don't forget about that text-to-speech option that we have. Um, in the uh, resource folder, there are tons of how-to folders. I actually just added a ton from Mr. Oleski, who's a San uh, social studies teacher here. Um, so there is a text-to-speech option where you can highlight things and have the Chromebook read it to you through your headphones. So that's a really good option. If ever there's too much to read, um, use the text-to-speech function. If you want to know how to do that and you can't quite figure out where it is, let me know and I can help you. Right, so <laughs> there is uh, written instructions as well as a written explanation as well as a video on how to measure the volume. The volume is how much stuff something has, or I'm sorry, how much space an object uh, occupies. So volume, like this tennis ball has less volume than this unicorn because it's smaller. So the size of it. Um, this video, again, uh, feel free to watch it for what must be the third time now uh, or skip it. Another slideshow, um, again, it tells you the number slide that it is. So you can look here and go to that slide number to answer the question. And then we are back to gizmos today. Um, and so there's a couple of things here. So read through these instructions. You have another assignment for Google Doc, which is this right here. A super handy thing about this Google Doc is that you'll notice in bright pink, uh, it has video help. So if you click on this link, and then there's one for each page. Um, and so if you're getting stuck or having trouble, watch these. And it's basically like a walkthrough of the assignment. So if ever it says, hey, grab the 25 milliliter graduated cylinder. If you don't know what that is, watch the video and the video will tell you what that is. So that's the assignment, and then here is the link to the actual Gizmos lab that you're doing. And then you guys got all of your login information um, on Tuesday. So, oh, let me move this even farther over. When you go to log in, you don't have to do the class code anymore, just use the username and password that you created on Tuesday. So again, it was your normal like school username. So for me, it's E. Coleman, and then added WMS onto it. And then it's your normal computer password. If you didn't do this on Tuesday, uh, let me know and I can help you out, or just go back to Tuesday's assignment um, and it shows you how to log in. And then click log in, again, you don't have to run well in class, because you're already enrolled. Once you log in, you will look for this measuring volume lab, have these uh, side by side. If you need help with that on how to split screen, let me know, I can help you out with that too. Ooh, ooh. And then back here, a reminder that we have a test tomorrow on this week's unit metric measurement and you can use your star slides on the test so make sure that your star slides that you're about to do are well done because that is something you can use on the test so make sure you have that and then answer those questions review answers and submit again if you have any questions this all these videos right here are gonna be super helpful for you today but feel free to answer a question. Also, don't forget, I have office hours from 1 to 1.30, um, and the link is on Schoology. So link for office hours is right here from 1 to 1.30. Uh, come anytime. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.